How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore and today we are working on a 2023 Ford Mustang GT. We're going to be installing paint protection film on the front bumper as well as the grill. Um, these patterns are all cut out using Core and they're exactly as they are in the computer. We didn't make any adjustments to these ones. The one thing that we are going to be doing that's a little bit different in this video, let me know what you think about this down in the comments and if this was enough uh, coverage on this installation is that I'm just going to show about three quarters of the install on the bumper and we're not going to show you this area on both sides and let me know if that works for you. I thought it might save a little bit of time and maybe be a little bit less redundant. Terrific. Well, let's go ahead and get started on this one. All right. So for this kit, I'm going to go ahead and start right here and I'm going to make sure that all of this is lined up real well. And then we'll go ahead and start tacking this area down and then we'll move our way across this bumper here. So I'm bringing this right up against that edge where it starts to turn there. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to get this part tacked down. We'll leave that for now. And then this is going to be the point that we're going to stretch from. We're going to go ahead and stretch this over to here, which actually doesn't look like there's really any stretching that needs to be done. It's just more positioning than anything. All right, so we want to get this lined up real well here, just like we did on the other side. And then we'll make sure that this is lined up good and we'll go ahead and squeegee down. All right, we'll get back to this where it's popping up. Let's go ahead and get this front on real well. So you can see I'm getting a little bit of pre-tacking. So a little bit of shaking with my hand will help break that loose. We switched soaps, so I'm still trying to get my mixture uh, ironed out. This is seven milliliters per gallon of a soap called Next, it's made by Next Generation. It's their dish soap. And I guess that's what a lot of people are using now. And it seems to be working really well. I just, you know, every once in a while, or it seems to be working really well. I just need to get it the get it ironed out for the temperature in the shop. Okay, so we're lined up real good on the top. Just double checking, making sure that we've squeegeed out all of the air and water. I know I went over that a bunch of times. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. All right, so let's continue our way across. So I think the next time I mix this up, for mm, 78 degrees in the shop, but it just started cooling down and this bumper might be a little bit warmer than the shop is. Um, I'm gonna try eight milliliters of soap on the next batch and that's per gallon. All right, then we're gonna push this up. Work our way down and then underneath, do a little slide jump there. Okay, that's looking good. If you run a light, you know, if you run a light across it on your angle, you'll be able to see any water that's left behind. All right, let's go ahead and work all this side down. So we pretty much lined this part up uh, last time or you know when we first started so we'll go ahead and make sure that that's in place and then we'll check this line going up right here 
That looks really good. So we'll go ahead and go on this body line there all the way up. Let's get a little tack solution underneath this part. I don't know, that seems good with just the tack solution. Let's go ahead and work our way down to right here and then we'll stick everything down into this recess down. Okay, so just down to that recess. And you know what, when we pull on this, it's probably going to want to pop right up like that. So let's get a little tack in there. And then work back down. Alright, now we'll stretch right over to here. All right, so we've got this lined up really good underneath the headlight. Okay, let's make sure we have a good wrap underneath. And then we'll go ahead and squeegee this out. So I'm being pretty gentle with this, but I am being very thorough as far as overlapping and things like that when I was coming down this way because all we had tacked was just this part and as you can see by, I don't know if you can see that water bubble coming back in, it's not tacked really down really well yet. So if you push really hard on the material, you can move it. All right, let's go ahead and get this over that edge a little bit so that it quits coming back up or quits the water from running down. Let's go ahead and get some tack in this. Let's see what we can do down here now. All right. All right, so I'm gonna just Again, angle that away a little bit from this area here. All right, let's go ahead and get this part down here. So what I'd like to start with here is putting a little tack in this very edge, or some tack in this part here. And let's get this down. Now we want to pull on this. This doesn't continue to pop up. We're gonna work our way back to this edge here, making sure that the top there is lined up really well. So that top is tacked down and then this side is tacked down. Let's go ahead and stretch right down into this bottom. All right, let's go ahead and get this center section out. I'm basically just kind of lifting this up so that air, or I mean, so the air and the 
tack or slip solution has somewhere to go. This is popping up a little bit, so let's get that to start staying down. in there and then we'll get around just around this first so we're over this body line now we're gonna go over the next one okay and then we're gonna work our way all the way down from there okay let's actually get a different uh, one with an angle on it Help us get down in here a little bit better and keep some good even pressure on the material. Because as I turn it like this, you can see the angle here on this card. I keep calling it a card, but it's a squeegee. But you can see that angle, and you see how that helps fit in there. All right, great. All right, let's get a little uh, slip solution in there and a little bit of water into this area. Get this off the face here. Let's see if we can just kind of chomp this down into place and have it stay down without any tack solution. looking good let's see here so if we hold this part down should be able to put a little bit of alcohol underneath this part and get this to stay down if I can get some good pressure on it all right let's try water doesn't want to stay all right so let's see if we can get this part down first and if that'll help that bottom part go down so it doesn't really want to stick down either so we're gonna get some tack in there water in there and then I want to get this bottom part of that down kind of first and then I'm going to drag this part down hold it with my finger for a few seconds a little bit popping up here all right so I'm going to give I'm gonna come right back to this in maybe just a minute here and get that to stay down. I'm gonna, I, I dried it out with my towel and then we're gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna come back and push that down. And that's just gonna help that material get a little bit of air, get a little bit more tacky. All right, so let's again start right here. A little bit of tack in there and I'm gonna guide with this hand here line that up really good actually I'm over just a little bit all right right there all right, so we'll get that to stick down now let's get this bottom down 
the rest of the way. Okay, let's finish lining up this guy now. Let's go ahead and get, start working our way down here. Okay, and then we'll work our way out this way, and we'll take the rest of this this direction. All right, let's go ahead and start wrapping this around. Got over that first edge, now we'll go for the second edge. Double checking to make sure you're not leaving any moisture behind. And we'll go ahead and finish this tuck in there. All right, so now that that's sat just for a minute, let's go ahead and see if we can get that to go down. All right, and then we'll go ahead and dry it off. And we did get it to go most of the way down. The rest of that I'll take care of when I'm heat sealing the edges. All right, let's take care of this, get this wrapped in. I'm gonna go ahead and use some water on this one. go get that middle down first and I'm gonna work my way towards my finger. Alright so this part is hanging over just the tiniest bit and that's keeping it from sticking down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some heat on that later, push that down, and then I'll trim that. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that now. All right, so the plan is here is to put a little bit of heat underneath there and get that adhesive real tacky. You don't wanna overheat the film. And I'm gonna work my way up. Not only am I hanging over the edge a little bit, but the edge is really rough and kind of bows out back this way. I don't know if you can see that. You can see the color kind of change. It looks lighter there and then darker. And that's because this edge is getting more light because of the angle it's at. So that's also keeping the material from sticking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> all right, that looks great. All right, now that we've gotten the bulk of this bumper on, let's go ahead and take care of a couple other parts. We've got a part down here and then we've got a part right here. And then we're also going to be covering this gloss black in the grill. So this part does not attach to anything else as far as seams or anything, so. We don't have to worry about stuff like that. We just got to get it in place and squeegee it out. I'm going to be starting right on this edge right here. Well, let's get a little bit of water underneath there. Now to position it, once I get some water in there, you can see I've got my fingers on either side. Obviously, if you touch in the area with the water, it's going to immediately tack down. Work our way back. 
Okay, now let's work our way this way. So we just want to make sure that we're not hanging over on this edge or the top edge. So just keep this pattern lined up real well. Kind of trying to find the most comfortable way to squeegee this where I get the you know good pressure on it. Kind of an awkward area. But definitely this card with the cut in this is it works the best. Just working our way across here. Okay, so let's go ahead and s stop there in the middle and we'll go ahead and work on the other side and then we'll work our way back to the center. This is it's very important that this lines up correctly. So we wanna make sure that we don't accidentally stretch too much and we wanna, you know, so that this lines up real good. All right, so just like the other side, we're gonna get a little bit of solution in there for tacking, make our adjustments for placement. And then I'm going to go ahead and work my way out now towards the center here. Okay. Alright, I'll go ahead and squeeze this out over to the edge. Alright, let's move now. Alright, so I just did that whole bottom section down here <laughs> without the GoPro on. So hope that this camera got some good footage. Some days are like that. All right, let's get some paint protection on this top part of the bumper. Alright, so what we want to do is line up the seam really well. I want to make sure we're coming right out to the edge here. And that this butts up real nicely. Alright, so I'm going to hold, now that I've got this part in place right here, I'm going to hold that in place real hard with my finger. Put a lot of pressure on that and get that to stay stuck down. Then, we're gonna to need to do just a tiny bit of stretching here to keep this seam lined up real well. Okay, and then we'll hold that down in place. It's giving us a little finger here, but we're gonna be able to work that out. It's most important that the seam looks great because it is on the top where you're really gonna, it's gonna be um, visible. And actually, it looks like we can stretch back just a little bit, and that's going to help get rid of that. Okay, that seam is lining up really good to about here. And I think that's about as far as it comes together. Let's go ahead and lay the rest down. And it looks like we can pull back just a little bit and that'll help get rid of this finger here. So let's get a little bit of water in there and then we'll stretch back to that point. So I'm gonna stretch with this hand and then I'm going to position with this hand over here. And then I'm gonna put my finger right there on the very end and that'll get that to start tacking down. And then we'll squeegee this out.
All right, we'll come back and worry about that part later. Let's move, make our way across. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. All right, that's looking really good. So I'm gonna just kind of squeegee down to my fingers. Looks like that's staying down good. And then let's take care of this here. We are, we do have quite a, you know, that position is what allows this to not have a finger, but we are going to have to get this to come down more. So let's deal with that. So first thing we want to do is keep this area from moving because there is a seam there. We need that to stay tacked down in place and not go over. Okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and get this into place. So um, since all of our stretching is right in this area here, I am gonna go ahead and put my hand like right here and do all my stretching from right here instead of stretching from this point, just to make sure that we get as much stretch out of this little area as possible. Okay, and then we'll just take this finger down. All right, great. Now let's go ahead and work our way in the middle. First, we'll get rid of any pre-tacking. Okay. And then we want to make sure that we're not going over on this front edge. Let's start making our way across here. All right, and then these little fingers popping up. We will go ahead and get some water in there. And let's go ahead and get some water in this front part. Okay. Now again, now once we get some water in there, it did shoot up a little bit into the top of this. So we want to go ahead and bring this back down to that body line. And then we'll go ahead and wrap this down. push these up and over and then I can hold those right on the edge too if necessary to keep it from popping back up let's go ahead and wrap this in now all right so for starters I'm just gonna try doing this with some slip and then if that doesn't hold it down we'll put some tack in there I'm just going to hold it down with my finger or push it down with my finger first and then we'll squeegee all this out. Okay. 
So this side I'm gonna try just going right to the alcohol or tax solution. I've got a couple, you see those? Got a couple fingers popping up right here. I'm gonna get some alcohol in those. Tack solution. And we'll push those out and then dry that edge. Terrific. All right, so let's go ahead and take care of this grill. It's got a piece here, piece here, piece across the middle, and then a piece that does this bottom and up the sides. And I wanna go ahead and start with this bottom part that goes up the sides. All right, so we wanna get lined up on this front edge and we wanna kind of keep the amount that this top pattern has to wrap down uh, the same all the way around this part. Let's go ahead and get some tack in there. I don't want this to keep slipping, sliding around. Okay. Now work our way out towards the middle here. That's good enough. And then let's take care of this part here. Okay. So let's get this part lined up here. Get a little tack in there for that part. And let's get this down too then. All right, and the reason I put a little tack in there is so that as we turn this pattern out because it does need to stretch out this direction a little more. We don't want this back edge picking, uh, continuing to lift up. Um, let's see what we can do with this. So the more times this pops up, the more possibility of getting lift lines. So we don't want that to continue to pop up and pop up and pop up. All right, let's see what we can do make our way over to this next step here. See what the rollover looks like. That looks pretty good. Just get a little tack in there. And let's roll that over and then work our way up to the finger where it's holding the material down. And then we'll just hold it down right there and then we'll work this up to that next bend. See how we're lining up here. We'll work 
our way up this direction and then we'll take everything in here back. I had a finger that kept popping up there, so I went in and pushed it out with my finger. And then I'm going to hold that there. And then go back and kind of squeegee over it, make sure I didn't leave any moisture behind. Right, work our way up to here. Let's go ahead and get some tack under this part. Kind of check in for water bubbles in here. Any moisture that was left behind feels good. All right, let's work on the other side of this now. Okay, let's make sure that this lines up real good before we start squeegeeing over this way. Now because we didn't put any, <laughs> there it goes, it was finally, because we didn't put any tack in here, this is going to move around pretty easily still. So I'm kind of holding it in place with my fingers while I push this up. Alright, this part is a little bit tall. I'm going to put this back up on the wall and I'm going to trim it with my knife. Alright, so if I push it back here I can see where it's going to end and then where this part's going to end and obviously want to make sure not to hang over either one of those. Right there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this front down first. And I'll work my way over on one side. Okay, looking good. All right, so all that's left is this piece across the top in the middle. A little water in there. And we're gonna go ahead and lighten this edge up. All right, so next we're gonna move over to this side and you know bring this edge together as good as we can. Okay, now let's get the middle part down. Let's see we've, what we're working with here. All right, looks like we've got a little bit of extra material but not a ton. So that we should be able to work with fairly easily. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get some water in there with this and flush out a little bit of the slip solution. And then let's keep this 
fronts. Uh, edge lined up real well. Alright, and then with the face tack down there, let's go ahead and get this underneath done. Well, that's the process of installing paint protection film on the front bumper of this Mustang. If you found anything useful or helpful, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.